the entrance antiphon for Our Lady of Guadalupe. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This morning we celebrate Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patroness of all of the Americas. And as we remember her this morning, let us call to mind our sins, ask God for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are hope for all peoples. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring us joy of heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the blessed fruit who gives life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We pray together. Glory to God, God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. Thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, who placed your people under the singular protection of your Son's most holy mother, grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the ways of justice and of peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on this day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land. And he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord, for he stirs forth from his holy dwelling the word of the Lord. The second reading is from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come. And the, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth. 
and blessed be the Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have such a wonderful feast day today. Our Lady of Guadalupe, who appeared in the 16th century to Juan Diego in Mexico. And it's a feast day for me that's rooted in faith, so strongly in faith. If you can just imagine, in the 1500s, the native people of Mexico were not very excited to embrace Catholicism, right? That the Spanish who had come. Some were nice, some were respectful, many were not. And even if they saw the truth of Catholicism, very few wanted to become Catholic because, gosh, look at the ugliness. Look at how you live your faith. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want the way you've treated us. Yet, a huge change happened when Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared. If you'll notice in the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, she doesn't look like someone from Arabia. She looks like someone from Mexico. That's actually the beauty of our first reading. It says, See, I am coming to dwell among you. I will be with you. And that's what Mary showed to the native people of Mexico. I am here and I am with you and God loves you and you are meant to be part of of his people. It's something that all of us can rejoice in, that if God loved them so much, sent his mother in their image, so much so does he love us. And it caused incredible conversion throughout all of Mexico. Literally at least a million people became Catholic over the next 80 years. An incredible world-changing event that happened in the 1500s. So, faith back then, that's a huge theme. But faith today is also a huge theme of this feast day. The tilma, so that, that garment that bears this image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, is something that I return to frequently when I have uh, difficulties in my faith. Like, alright, what is something I can turn to that is miraculous, that shows that God exists. The tilma is a wonderful example of this. To this day, we can examine the tilma and not understand how it's here. It, it was not created with any tracing. It still doesn't have any brush strokes. Like, artists don't understand how this image is on Juan Diego's cloak. 
let alone how it's been preserved for 500 years without any sort of protection still bearing this image of Our Lady. It has details so fine that you can see people reflected in Mary's eyes if you zoom into the painting. It, it's not even a painting. We don't, we don't know what to call it. it. What an incredible artifact's not the right word, but an incredible artifact that God has left us to show us, yes, you mean so much to me, and look, here is an example of me in the world and how I am here to show that I love you. So let us let our faith be bolstered today by God's work in the world through our mother, through Mary. And let us ask for her prayers so that we can have a faith just like her. Now let us stand and offer to God our petitions. For our Holy Mother Church, may she continue to grow in the gifts given by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders who envision and work for communities that serve the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For expectant mothers, may the love of God be present in those who surround them, providing support and encouragement. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord fill us with love and truth and guide us in the ways of wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May they soon rejoice in the company of God's beloved in his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us offer now our own personal intentions that we bring today. We pray especially this morning for Heinz and Brigitte Tolksdorf, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, please allow our prayers to be strengthened by those of our mother. Answer us and hear us, for we make them through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we present to you on this feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and grant that this sacrifice may strengthen us to fulfill your commandments as true children of the Virgin Mary. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, 
brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. The Lord has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly.
Let us pray. Lord God, may the body and blood of your Son, which we receive in the sacrament, reconcile us always in your love. And may we who rejoice in Our Lady of Guadalupe live united at peace in this world until the day of our Lord draw, dawns in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.